Nation, you know the pre with the up on the Wednesday year trendy Wednesdays. Hope you all doing okay. Me say me I go kick it off with some music, some might as well. Go and enjoy the tracks and when we return, we take a look at the story. See me t shirt, six till it me leave her. She praying that I never leave her. Yeah, she love a drug stealer. So she love a nice t shirt. No, that part of it here when I go start with this on really news or nothing like that, you know. But I just curiosity a kill me. I want to know why Panga Lan Jody got to her every minute she'll promote that bleaching cream. She have used the likes of squash. Why not herself? Why not our other friends them like even Disha Rivers cause she and Disha Rivers a good friend, you know. And you know, I don't know if Disha a bleach still, but Disha look well brown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but just I say why she have to use the likes of squash. Although at the end of the day, we get to understand that Squash is the best customer. And that is clearly according to what Judy Katura say. Mm-hmm. But I still I wonder why Squash do. We are going to go and vibe to Squash. New song entitled Best Best. I know you never expect the one that the best best put on her. The best best put on her. Be all of the stress for me on her. I'm going to f*** with me on her. The big black banana. <laughs> You're pretty and smiley. She said that the piggy toe should be darling. River gum down rain falling. You mem- Squash, you know me there, pre. From your cancer, look a concert, pan we. You never tell me nothing more about it. Walk on in and keep back. The six is real concert. I'm sure you have a lot of six fans dead right now. I wonder what one. Talking about concert. Be so far, I post that intense I water made. Although I understand that intense I water always a post the likes of Alkaline. But anyway, in a recent post, intense I water uploaded this little clip of Alkaline with the caption. Wolipa sacrifice, Wolipa work a poutine. <laughs> Well, he passed sacrifice when he power work with him. Them left me at the pool for dead. Me lucky how me still living. And right now, me rather dead than forgiving. No, for my friend, them they are jail. Me can't come do the same thing. In the comment section of that post, a lot of people attack Alkaline in the post. At Alkaline, basically, I tell Alkaline for put I water in the lineup to work at new rules, which will be on April the 25th. And it seems as if it could be possible because shortly after that, we see the likes of Alkaline number one producer. The likes of Jigo Dan even comment on the post. Well, it never say much still. Mm. Anyways, people, we're moving on. Watcha, 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 yeah. Your mother, you never believe in me, boy. No, me, have your girl, I play, play with just like a f***ing tie. Anthony Miller was there interviewing Spraga Benz. Good, good, good. Spraga Benz are talking about him, career, how it's a move. Our whole heap of changes are going for him right now, ever since Damian Marley invited him to be a part of the Jamra Cruise. But the interview are going so good, Anthony Miller nearly drowned the likes of Spraga Benz when he goes to this. You came close to being burnt by Vibes Cartel. You moved away from that. You kind of did a, a, a quick move. Vibes Cartel came close to being burnt from me. <laughs> No, don't put it away there. You get it in the right perspective. It's a DJ woman respect, but it's not a DJ woman fear. There's really nobody. It's just fear. not my type of thing that. But I've been here for before him. Not take nothing from him, but I was here when he came. I thought I knew a lot about the likes of Vibes Cartel. I'm sure a lot of Vibes Cartel fans can say that to them know a lot about Vibes Cartel. But I don't know if likewise me. Most of y'all never know that Spraga Benz normally writes song for Vibes Cartel. I was one of them people who used to write with him too. I write for him too. Come write songs where me and him perform. Where me write. Now I take nothing from him. He's a very talented artist. But I don't mean, I mean, consider it the way they like go for burn or nothing like that. Anybody could have get burned. Uh-huh. And I thought I know my dancehall history. Well, clearly I was wrong. Because before this, before me hearing this interview right now, I would have swear things a cartel never accept a song from anyone at all. Mm-hmm. But people, when you hear with Spraga Benz officer, right? They saw. And based off of where Spraga Benz are saying at a party here, Vibes Cartel basically is to be blamed for the level which part of slackness gone in a dancehall. Right, because they have a, a, a lower morality level. I'm still out, so things where cartel would have jumped up for say, would have been things where even me and, 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 and back in my days, my youth, them used to think that, but would I never sing that car? That's not really necessary for it. We don't need for goddess so. But for the shock value, a lot of nowadays artists doing that, and, and I think them, them accredit him as a person who spearhead that. Slackness is not new enough. 
but the levels are it, you know, and the topics them. And here's what Spraga Benz basically had to say about Vibes Cartel when he was asked whether or not he thought Vibes Cartel was innocent. Hey, and that's not the exact question, you know. That's not the exact question, but basically the same thing. Well, it's kind of surprising that they would have locked him up without full evidence in that, in that, that, you know, aspect. But it is what it is. Well, they had voice notes. But they now that a voice note and a, and a, and a solid evidence that to me. Because they tampered with his phone. Because, and I am an artist. I know in a studio things can we can change up things, we can change up sound, we can splice things, we can make it say what you never say. We can, we can do all that things with, with technology nowadays. You think Vibes Cartel was put away without the state having made its case properly? Well, them don't come with a body and them don't come with a weapon. So, leave it at that. Mm -hmm. That I feel like a part of the thing there. People, go on and enjoy the tracks and when we return, we take a look at the rest of the stories. Tell them turbo. You can't hold me up on no corner. You have to catch me in a house like two in Montana. One thing do, me have a million piranha. Hundred thousand rifle pan veranda for the drama. If you make it past this, so that you're still Maradona. But you fuck if you go touch your front door, bang a rama. Mental like Yeah, shop done, we love the action. Every clip long like money to box stand. Yo, Tom Brown, bad, Mr. Totty Glock strong. Nazil a smoke like pan up a Boston, yo. Can't stop, but we not stop, but never drop yard. No one we not box from few Glock, they are them. We have option for Before I get to the update on Popcorn, check out a little video here. That is like when you got a party and none of the money for enter the party, but still you can't hold a vibe outside. <laughs> Anyways, people, we are gonna get to it. Lawyer checks claim Popcorn was found with firearm. Popcorn's lawyer Bert Samuels say he wants to unequivocally deny that his client Andre Sutherland, more popularly known as Popcorn, was held in possession of an illegal firearm. This comes on the heels of a video now circulating on social media which shows the police conducting a search of the vehicle in which the unruly boss was travelling. Confirming that his client was indeed an occupant of the vehicle captured in the video, Samuels told the star that his car was stopped by law enforcers for road traffic violation. He explained that during the stop, another occupant of the vehicle declared that he was a licensed firearm holder. Following the declaration, the lawman asked everyone traveling in the vehicle to exit while they conducted checks. Samuels said the firearm was looked at and returned and nothing else happened at the scene. The lawyer later said in subsequent talks with the DJ, Popcorn has expressed disappointment that an incident pre encounter with the police is being turned into a story with no foundation. So, your ear was going, this uh, people, Popcorn was definitely at the scene. Remember me that telling you earlier in the report? In the first report, it said, Popcorn never confirmed whether or not he was present, and when he must say, they must try to fight him or tarnish him name, he could have actually met the person who a video, you know, and I said, Popcorn was found with gun or Popcorn caught with gun. Anyway, Yes, only here we're going there, so Popcorn was definitely present, but based off what the lawyer is saying, another occupant was in the vehicle and he declared himself as a licensed firearm holder. You tell the police, say yes, he's having firearm on him, but it is licensed. And as usual, the police them still asked them to exit the vehicle while they conducted a search. That's where the woman there. <laughs> Channel people set up a way, you know. People set up a way, the woman just pop her phone and say, Watch here, Popcorn caught with gun. And you don't even know the situation. Jano, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. People, I want you to tell me what I think about that part. If you enjoyed this video, why not leave a comment, press the like button, and also tell your friend to watch it. Mm -hmm. For now, people, you see what time o'clock, you see what time I'm going up and get the car here. And as usual, my people. But. See two clips with four days. This is a new Ragging King. It is the official music video for the single entitled 17. I'm not escaping out limousine. Clacking and pack time while I be. Next level, six level with the panna aya I6 real come. Near Sean the entertainment feed community. All of the viewers them who tune in. Thanks for joining up on the Wednesday year. It is a trendy Wednesdays. Custom shirt, custom buns, custom belt, custom. Uno to thief! I'm gonna attack the song. Why nobody not talk to customs at Jamaica? If me ever send a car at Jamaica, why me have to buy the car again?
Why it ever cost me the same amount of money for clear the car? Me I come through customs at the airport, they want to charge me three, four times the thing with value. Me buy a phone for five bills. Custom I got charge me six, seven hundred dollars for clear it. Custom! Custom on the two thief! When daddy wants a custom, I never this see me. Right now, custom thief. Custom rubber. Custom ginal. Custom! My thing when daddy want touchdown. Yesterday, a rumor started circulating.